Back at the university hospital, my medical history record goes back at this hospital for more than 31 years since 1989. This hospital is almost like a second home to me. When I was a teenager, way back in 1989, uh, I practically lived here when I had the leukemia. I was in hospital for many reasons. Um, of course, those period when I had cancer, and then I came back to the hospital for a very bad car accident. I scar in July, the scar on my hip. One of my biggest regrets is to destroy all the pictures that I have when I was sick and when I was hospitalized before. I should have kept all the pictures because those were part and moments of our life that we can't reproduce. Now I'm here for a regular checkup, and uh, that checkup is more for maintenance. I come for a checkup here every quarter, every three to four months and every visit to the hospital, it brings back a lot of old memories. I want to get better. You think I can fix myself? I have five months to live, and you're making me go through this alone?! Almost dying changes nothing. I'm supposed to be here a few days ago to take my blood for the blood test, but I actually forgotten in fact, I almost missed today's, um, today's checkup. I have to wait another one hour before my turn. What I really need now is a nice hot cup of coffee, which uh, I don't know where to go. I've chatted with a few doctors who wants to remain anonymous. They say that the most senior specialist or doctor have to attend to a clinical. Dr. House, the clinic is part of your job. Because there isn't enough doctors around to attend to all the patients at the hospital. Ha! Got my coffee. I was also informed through chat with the local staff, nurses and doctors here, that even some patients who are undergoing a serious medical sickness are not able to receive medications because medications and medicines are tightly controlled due to budget. I had to take a walk outside the building to have a nice peaceful cup of coffee. There are too many people inside the hospital. Nice cup of coffee and vaping. The beauty of having a specialist or a senior doctor at the clinic, they are a lot more professional. I was lucky to meet with Professor Ikram at the cardiologist clinic today and he gave quite a good advice and he gave a very good explanation of my cardiology condition. Next appointment is in November, so still a few more months before the next appointment. Taking a whole basket full of medication for one month for 60 ringgit. Wow. All these medications, if I were to buy outside pharmacy, it will cost me at least a few hundred ringgit. It's a huge difference. The most amazing part about the University Hospital, there's no more written prescriptions. Everything is electronic. Everything is all online and centralized. Just completed all the medical checkup and making future appointment. Now it's time to go back, and uh, uh, it's raining really, really heavy outside. Grandma. <laughs>